Hello friends, today we are going to see the trick to find A, B, C, D parameter of two port network. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's start with the very first sum. This sum is of EC 2015. The question is the A, B, C, D parameter of the following two port network is. And here you can see the two port network is a T network. Okay, and we have to find out the A, B, C, D parameter of this T network. We all know the Z parameter of T network is very easy, but ABCD parameter is much more difficult okay so if you try to do this sum by the traditional way what you are going to do is first you will write the formula right and in the right hand side you will have V2 and I2 okay so it means first you are going to short circuit the output port and find out the two term and then you are going to open circuit the output port and then you are going to find out the remaining two term okay and if you do so you are going to waste around two plus minutes okay so i will not suggest you to use the traditional way to solve this type of problem we will use the trick here okay so let's see the trick in detail for this type of network okay so if you get the network something like this when you have a one impedance here and you have one impedance here then you can write the abcd parameter directly that is one plus za by za b za 1 by za b and one okay so this will be your a this will be your b this will be your c and this will be your d okay so if you are feeling that this formula is tough to remember you can remember this using this trick okay so here you can see the first term contains 1 plus za by za b okay now the second term will be simply the numerator of this one the third term will be 1 upon za b basically the remaining part of this term okay and the last term will be the remaining part of whole term okay that is one okay so hope you understand that technique and the trick that we have to use for this type of network okay so coming back to this sum here you can see here we have a t type network we don't have simply this network okay so if you see this network carefully you will say that you have a cascading of two network okay if you consider this as one network and this as one network you will say that you have a cascading of this network one and this network two okay so what i'm saying is that you have one network here and one network here okay in this za is this za b is this okay so basically what we have to do is we have to find out the abcd parameter of this network and then for this network and at the end since this is a cascading network so we are going to multiply the abcd parameter of both the network okay to get the complete transmission parameter okay so if we try to find out the abcd parameter of first network it will be 1 plus za by za b okay so za is 5 plus za 4 and za b is 2 plus j 0 okay so if you simplify it this 1 plus 5 plus j 4 by 2 you will get 3.5 plus j 2 okay and the second term is simply za za is 5 plus j 4 third term is remaining term of this one so it will be 1 by 2 okay and fourth term is remaining term of whole first term it will be 1 okay so this is your T1 transmission parameter for this first network. For the second network, you can see ZA is here and ZB is invisible for you. Okay, so you can consider this as infinite as whenever you have an open circuit, you can consider it as an infinite impedance. Whenever you have a short circuit, you can consider it as zero impedance. Okay, so considering ZB as infinite and ZA as phi minus Z4, so your transmission parameter it will be 1 plus za by za b okay za b is infinity so it will be 1 by infinity is nothing but 0 okay so here you will get 1 plus 0 and here the second term will be za okay so za is phi minus j4 third term will be 1 by za b za b is infinite okay so 1 by infinity will be 0 and the last term will be 1 simply okay so you get t1 and t2 now we have to simply multiply it okay so if we multiply this two matrix what we will get is 3.5 plus j2 5 plus j4 multiply by 1 and 0 okay so what you are doing is you are doing multiplication of matrices okay so here this row is multiplied with this column this row will again multiplied with this column then this row will multiply to this column then this row multiplied with this column okay and hence you will get this matrix okay so first term it will be 3.5 plus j2 second term will be 3.5 plus j2 multiply by 5 minus j4 5 plus j4 multiply by 1 okay 
so if you simplify it you will get simply 30.5 okay and the third term will be simply 0.5 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 0 it will be 0.5 fourth term will be 0.5 multiplied by 5 minus 4 1 into 1 okay so if you add up you will get 3.5 minus 2 okay and now if you compare this matrix with the options what you will get is you will get 3.5 okay so okay so b option is correct you can see 3.5 plus a to 30.5 0.5 and 3.5 minus a2 okay so this was the technique by which you can solve all the abcd parameter sums very easily within 30 seconds okay now let's see this trick into some another sum so this is the second sum which is from ec 2018 the question is the abcd parameter for two port matrix is defined by this okay so basically they are saying the abcd matrix is v1 i1 a b c d v2 i2 okay so abcd matrix is given and we have to find out the parameter b for this two port network okay so again you have t network and you have to find out the term b from the abcd parameter okay so again you are going to use the same trick okay so here you have t network okay so first you will find out the network for which we know the abcd parameter okay so for this network we know abcd parameter okay so we will divide this network into two networks okay so this is our network one and this is our network two okay so for network one za is two ohm za b is five ohm and for network two za is two ohm and za b will be infinite okay so for network one transmission parameter it will be one plus za by za b okay so basically one plus two by five it will be simply one point four second term will be za simply okay so it will be two third term will be one by z b it is nothing but one by five which is nothing but 0 0.2 and last term is simply one okay similarly for second network transmission parameter it will be one plus z a by z b okay z b is infinite so one by infinity will be zero okay now here it will be z a here it will be one by z b it is nothing but one by infinite is nothing but zero okay and here it will be one okay now you have to simply multiply to get the complete matrix but we have to save as much as time possible okay so here you can see in the question it is mentioned that we have to find simply b okay and we know b is the second term okay and for b we have to multiply this row with this column right so we will simply multiply this row with this column and we are not going to do any other multiplication okay so if we do this we will get 1.4 multiplied by 2 plus 2 into 1 okay so if we add up we will get 4.8 ohm as our b term in the abcd parameter okay so the answer of this question is 4.8 ohm okay so you can clearly see if you use this trick for this type of sum you are going to save lot of time okay the traditional way takes around 2 plus minutes while your trick takes only 30 seconds okay so that's it for today thank you guys